Hello folks. So in this video, I'm going to talk about another NLP concept called stemming, which is a process of reducing different forms of words to a core root. Okay, for example, uh, recognizing uh, that the word listen and listened are just different tenses of the same word. Words that are derived from one another can be mapped to a central word or symbol, especially if they have the same core meaning. Stemming is a text normalization technique through which one may boost algorithms recall value. This video might be a little long as I will be covering a related Python code as well here. So watch this video till the end to get the complete details. This is Nitin welcoming you to the AI University channel where you can learn all your favorite digital technologies like machine learning, deep learning, AI, big data, Hadoop, virtual reality and cloud computing. And you can acquire the related skill set in order to advance your career in these fields. This channel takes on hands-on approach to build AI based products and applications so if you are new to this channel then consider subscribing uh, to this channel or if you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about the hottest technologies of 21st century. Stemming is the process of slicing the end or the beginning of the words with the intention of uh, you know, uh, removing affixes, which are nothing but lexical additions to the root of the word. If you are wondering that uh, what affixes are, then let me explain it. So affixes which are attached to the beginning of the word are called prefixes. Example, uh, un in the word unknown. Okay, so the actual word is known, but if we add the un in the beginning, then it will become unknown. And the ones that are attached uh, at the end of the word are called suffixes. Example, ly in the word badly. So we have ended, uh, we have added ly at the end of the word bad. So it has become badly. Okay. So these are called suffixes. One thing to note here is that affixes can create or expand new form of the same word, and we call it as a inflectional affixes. For example, suffix ed in the word hunted created a new form of the word hunt. Okay. On the other hand, affixes can even create new words themselves. Okay, we call uh, them as derivational affixes. For example, prefix eco when joined with the word friendly creates altogether a new word called eco friendly. Okay, so these are called derivational affixes. So we use stemming to chop off these affixes to bring the word into its root form or reducing word to their word stems. One of the advantage of stemming uh, process is that it can be used to correct spelling errors from the tokens. Stemmers are simple to use and uh, you know run very fast. And if in case speed and performance are important aspects in your NLP model, then stemming is certainly your best choice. There is one more process called lemmatization, which is used to reduce word to its base form and grouping together different forms of the same word. I will be covering this topic in the next video, as well as difference between stemming and lemmatization. Both stemming and lemmatization are widely used in indexing, SEOs, that is search engine optimizations, web search results, etc. Let's say we want to search a word called care on Google. The search will look for caring and cares as a care is the stem of the word uh, of the, both of these words. Okay, so care is the stem of both caring as well as cares. Okay. So in NLTK, stemmers are available in different languages and in English, we normally use either Ports, Porter stammer or Lancaster stammer. Okay, here I will use Porter stammer 
uh, throughout uh, because it is considered as most optimized with respect to its spe speed. So let's move on to the Python code associated with stemming. Uh, let me open my Jupyter Notebook real quick here. Okay. And here is the stemming. Okay. So uh, I will start with the, you know, stemming the individual words first. So in the first cell, as you can see here, uh, NLTK.stem package, which is this one, uh, contains several stemming classes. Porter stemmer is the one of those classes which I'm importing here. Okay. And in the next cell, I'm creating the object of Porter stemmer here. Okay. Okay. And uh, I have created this object of Porter stemmer. And uh, in the next, uh, uh, you know, after creating this uh, Porter stammer object, I try to generate uh, the stem words for the word dogs, okay, hunt, hunting, and hunted, okay. Notice how the Porter stammer is giving the root word, okay, uh, root stem of the word dogs by simply removing s. So this Porter stammer basically removed the S and generated the root word dog, okay, by simply removing S. But if you look at this hunt, okay, hunt, hunting, and hunted, they are actually stemmed to the same word called hunt, okay, which is a root word. So all of these three words were stemmed to a single root word hunt okay all right so that's what i wanted to show you uh, how can we stem the individual words here okay and what output actually we would get when we stem uh, the same form of uh, an individual word which we did here the hunt we used hunt different forms of a uh, word hunt here and actually stemmed it to single word hunt now let's see how can we uh, stem a sentence now okay so let me scroll up a bit and uh, let's say we have this uh, sentence which says fishers are not very known for fishing in the canal and something fishy was going on when some of their fishes got vanished into the lake okay now let's stem this sentence using porter underscore stem dot stem okay by passing this sentence as an argument here so i am passing this particular sentence as an argument here into the porter underscore stem dot stem and remember this porter underscore stem uh, and porter underscore stem is a object of porter stem or okay so when we ran this we can see that there was no change in the sentence if you see the sentence as well as this if you compare these two, there was no change at all in this sentence after performing stemming. The reason is that the stemmer sees the entire word, uh, sentence as a word. So this stemmer sees this entire sentence, it, uh, entire sentence as a word. Okay, and that's the reason it will return the sentence as it is. The solution, therefore, is to stem each word in the sentence and return it as a combined sentence okay and in order to separate the sentence into words we can use tokenizer which i am using here you can see and if you don't know about tokenization step uh, then you can very well uh, watch a separate video video which i have created on tokenization i will give the uh, link of it in the i button above okay so uh, to separate the sentence into words, we can use tokenizer, okay? And uh, I have used this nltk.tokenize uh, uh, package, and more specifically, the word underscore tokenize class of it, okay? And I'm using it here in this particular function. Okay, so using nltk uh, 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 tokenizer, we can 
separate uh, sentence into words and inside this uh, you can see I have created this function so inside this function I re first received uh, this complete sentence as an argument here okay and then I performed word tokenization on entire sentence here okay so I created separate tokens word tokens from this sentence okay all right and uh, the result of this is then stored in a variable called tokens okay then uh, what I did was uh, I initialized an empty list called stemmed sentence okay so I created this empty list and after this I used a for loop to iterate over each word in the sentence in order to stem them using porter underscore stemmer dot stem okay and appending that stemmed word into uh, this particular list which is stemmed underscore sentence okay lastly I'm just what I'm doing is I'm just joining each uh, each of the words in this particular list okay so whatever uh, stemmed word we have got inside this list I'm just joining the each and every word together okay that's what I'm doing here and then when I printed the result you can see that the entire sentence got stemmed and you can see that there are some stemmed words here very is one stemmed word okay fishing got stemmed to fish very got stemmed to v-e-r-i okay and then something got stemmed to s-o-m-t-h fishy got stemmed to fishy was was uh, stemmed to w-a going was stemmed to g-o go okay so and so forth okay so this is the way we can stem the entire sentence as well okay so this is it for this video to conclude i introduced and explained stemming in the video in this video and then showed how can we stem word as well as sentences so let me ask you a question from this video <coughs> what is the most commonly used stemming class in nltk Please post your comments in the comment section given below so that I can get a chance to incorporate your feedback. You can also ask your technical questions in the comment section. I will be glad to answer your questions. If you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. And in case you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming videos. So keep on watching. Thank you.